Hi, welcome back. In this lecture, let's quickly take a look into what is ORM. Well, ORM stands for Object Relational Mapping. Well, Object Relational Mapping is a programming technique to map application domain model objects to the relational database tables. Well, here application domain model meaning a uh, basically Java class with some fields and getter setter methods. For example, here student Java class has a field like ID, first name, last name and email. On the other hand, student's relational database table has uh, columns like ID, first name, last name and email. Well, ORM basically map the fields from the student Java class with the columns from the student's database table. For example, the ID from the student class is directly mapped with the ID column from the student's table. Similarly, first name, last name, email from the student Java class is directly mapped with first name, last name, email columns in a student's you know, table. So that we can directly you know, create object of the student class and we can directly store in a student's database table. Alright, so basically we don't have to write a SQL statement to insert the records in the student's table. We can use ORM mapping to directly map the objects to the relational database table. Well, in order to understand more about ORM, let's take one more example over here. Here we have application domain model that is address class. It has a fields like ID, street, city, state, country and zip. On the other hand, we have addresses relational database table. It has a you know columns like id city country state street and zip code all right so we can use a orm to directly map the fields from the address you know class with the columns of addresses table all right so that whenever we you know persist address class object then all the fields from the object will be directly mapped with the columns of the database table so in java basically we create object of the class using new keyword here Right, for example, look at here, we have created object of the address class and we have, you know, filled a value in a address class object. Okay, and whenever we persist this object into a database table, then ORM will basically, you know, map the fields from this object into the fields of database table. All right, so look at here, whenever we persist this address object, then that will be saved as a row in a database table. So basically we are not going to use a SQL statement to insert a values in the database table. With the help of ORM, we can directly store object into a relational database table as a row and we can also retrieve an entire row in an object using ORM mapping. So ORM is basically a programming technique that we can use to directly map the application domain model objects to the relational database tables. Now the question is in Java, who is responsible to provide object relational mapping? Well, Java provides a standard API that is JPA. All right, we can use JPA to provide object relational mapping in Java. All right, we'll see in next lecture what is JPA. All right, I will see you in next lecture.